Yo, what's up? Today we're going to be making a simple key system with Python. Just a little example. To start off, we're going to open up a new REPL project. We're going to create a new one. Create a flask. Name whatever you want. Make it private or public, it doesn't matter. This is what you should start off with. Just click run so we can get it set up. You can copy this domain right here and go to it. I don't really like programming on the actual Ripple website, so we can make a new file. Call this key system.py. Open it with your IDE. We're going to copy the code from the website. We're going to add a new route here. Call us whatever you want. I'm going to do API. And then we need to add the methods that you can use. Import request with flask. And methods. We're going to do post. And get. Define API page. Change this to use slash API. We're going to get the request method that the user uses. Check if it's equal to post. If it is, get the headers that they pass through. If it's not a post request, just return 404 not found. Or whatever you want it to say. Since we're doing a key system with a key, we're going to check if key. Check if key is not in the headers. If it isn't, return an error. If it isn't it, we're gonna get the user's key is equal to the request.headers. We're gonna get key. We can do a cross reference if user key is in a variable called keys. Let's do one, two, three. Return error. Do invalid key. If everything is passed. We're going to return. valid key copy this and put it on the website you can simply run this we can go to the website go to slash API now we can make a new project call this whatever you want this would be the part that's actually in your software that you want to put the login in you just want to import request make a simple request post request Enter the domain with slash API and then pass through the headers. We need a key and add the key we want. To test, we're going to put a wrong key and it prints r.json. Oh, that's a mistake there. We need to add not in and add brackets around this. Send another request. You see, it says invalid key. If we change this to 123, converted this. To JSON, we need to add and pass in the user's key that they used. So whenever it returns, it'll return valid and then the key that the user entered. There you go. In the future, this will be changed to a database, so you don't have to add every single one of these with a Discord bot or website that'll generate keys for you. So it'll be a full, full on system.